When you think about being a billionaire, you probably picture a lavish lifestyle, lounging on your yacht, drinking champagne and eating caviar, or living it up with Hollywood celebrities and Vanity Fair parties, maybe even having your own private island for a real getaway from the world. And while they all may be true, it's not all fun and games being rich. The billionaires today have worked really hard to get where they are, and if you want to get rich, you need to have a set routine and incredible amounts of discipline and self-control. What does it take to be a billionaire besides money. Today we're going to find out by taking a peek into the life of the soon-to-be trillionaire Jeff Bezos. Welcome back to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video. It may seem like Jeff Bezos has only one thing to worry about, but that one thing has a million things within. Amazon is currently producing movies and shows with Prime, publishing books, developing artificial intelligence tech to make your lives easier, and operating a grocery store, all the while revamping the e-commerce landscape. Jeff Bezos is also the founder of Blue Origin, an aerospace manufacturer trying to make access to space travel cheaper. And on top of all that, he owns the Washington Post. If you gotta handle all that, you need a schedule to keep you productive and give you some downtime. Here's everything Jeff Bezos does in a day. Around 7 or 8 in the morning, Jeff Bezos wakes up without the help of any alarm or wake-up call. Now, compared to most other CEOs and entrepreneurs, this is quite late. After all, Apple CEO Tim Cook is up around 3.45, and Virgin Group founder Richard Branson wakes up at 5. When asked about it in an interview, Jeff Bezos did provide an explanation. Keep watching to find out. Once he's up, he likes to putter in the morning. His words, it just means he likes to take his time in the morning. He catches up on the news, has a cup of coffee, and a good breakfast with his children before sending them off to school. And he enjoys a mighty breakfast. He once cooked up blueberry chocolate chip pancakes for Russell Wilson and Ciara, and they apparently had their weight in pancakes. Most of us might rush in the morning, but not Bezos. Taking the time to relax and cook is useful for creativity, and spending time on mindless tasks allows you to let your mind wander and run wild. So if you're ever feeling stuck, go do the dishes, because that is actually what Jeff Bezos does in his house. He's in charge of dishes. When it comes to work, Bezos likes to start late. He has his first meeting of the day around 10 a.m. when he feels his brain is at its sharpest. The way he puts it, I like to do my high IQ meetings before lunch. Like anything that's going to be really mentally challenging, that's a 10 a.m. meeting. So when 10 a.m. rolls around, you best believe Bezos means business. And when it's time to turn business, all his focus is first on his baby, Amazon. He spends most of the day in customer services and customer feedback operations in the Amazon headquarters, going through all kinds of data to see how he can make our experience better. Even so, he likes to minimize his number of meetings per day as much as possible. He doesn't even meet with his Amazon and investors for more than six hours in a whole year. He also has some rules for these meetings, the most bizarre but genius of them all being the two pizza rule. Basically, the rule is that no meeting should be so large that two pizzas can't feed the whole group. This is just a funny way of saying that the group shouldn't be so large that ideas get drowned out during the discussion. It also means that the more people there are, the more ideas there are to discuss, and the more time spent on a meeting, which we have established Jeff Bezos likes to avoid. He has another rule, no power PowerPoint presentations. He doesn't want one person to present while others listen or get bored. He instead prefers people to engage in an open discussion and provide ideas. That way, no one can sit back and not contribute. One thing's for sure, you wouldn't want him for a high school teacher. There would be no escaping answering questions. When it's time for lunch, typically around 1 or 2 in the afternoon, Jeff Bezos likes unusual and interesting dishes. He once even posted a picture of himself eating an iguana. But that doesn't mean he doesn't enjoy the simpler place pleasures of life, he still eats from food trucks outside the office like many others. In fact, he has gushed to Business Insider about a particular food truck standing outside the Amazon headquarters that he likes to frequent. Pre-lunch is all Amazon-related business, and post-lunch is everything else. Twitch, Washington Post, Blue Origin, and IMDB. While Blue Origin gets a lot of flack for copying SpaceX and Virgin Galactic, the truth is it was founded before any of them. SpaceX was founded in 2002 by Elon Musk, Virgin Galactic, in 2004, but Jeff Bezos founded his own space travel and aero manufacturing company in 2000. They were just working in secret, and this fact shows how passionate and interested in space he is. He even took the time out of his busy schedule to cameo in Star Trek Beyond, where he was a Starfleet official in some heavy makeup and prosthetics. After a whole day's work by 5 p.m., Jeff Bezos is understandably exhausted. He tries to avoid making any decisions post 5 p.m. and will put it off until 10 the next morning. It's a good philosophy 
philosophy to have because it means you make sound decisions while your mind and body are at their best. The way he sees it, he gets paid to make a small number of high quality decisions every day. And those small numbers are hugely impactful to not just him, but his employees as well. If he doesn't take care of himself, he might end up making low quality decisions because he's grouchy or tired. When you're tired, the mind may work on an impulse rather than using reason and logic. The Amazon founder knows this and has made it into a discipline. So he finishes up at work early and comes home to his family and spends time with them. He even indulges in sports or watching movies once or twice a week. And if he's going to be waking up early to have a good start to his day, which will enable him to make the right decisions, he'll have to sleep early and get a full eight hours. In fact, the only time Jeff Bezos doesn't get a full eight hours sleep is when he's traveling across time zones. There are days when this is just not possible, but he focuses on making it happen as often as possible. A night of good sleep provides energy, a good mood, and better decision making, all of which are essential qualities in a person running a billion dollar company. And that's why he wakes up later than most other billionaires. Jeff Bezos values his sleep and isn't interested in having a crazy wake up time if it means compromising his decision making skills. While his schedule isn't as hectic as most other CEOs, it's important to remember that this wasn't always his daily routine. When Amazon first started out, he worked tirelessly every day and every night to afford having a more comfortable and relaxed lifestyle. After all, if you put in the work early in life, you deserve to enjoy the spoils of it later. The biggest takeaway from this routine should be that you don't need more hours in a day to do what you want. You should just be productive with the time you have. Jeff Bezos has the same 24 hours in a day that we do, but he uses it efficiently and still has time to relax and spend with his family. If the wealthiest man and owner of the largest company in the world can get everything work-related done within a seven-hour window, anyone can. So, will you apply any of this to your own schedule? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and browse other videos on the King Luxury channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.